the damn building with a super collector, Maurice Walker. It's official. He talks about how he lost the collection and built it right back. And he got some gems in the closet. He gonna give us a peek at the closet. So stick around for the whole video. Remember, American Lairs is a conversation about building the dopest RL collections ever. Don't miss the conversation. Subscribe and hit the notifications. Yeah. All right, kicking it with Maurice Walker, a real low collector. I got to admit, I slept on this dude. And then I took a closer look. I had to take a closer look at what he was bringing to the table, man. Bro, thanks for coming. What's up with you, man? I'm all right. How you doing, homie? How's everything with you and the wife? It's a good, it's a good evening, man. I'm just, um, I, I just want to talk RL, brother. Um, hey, so we know. hey, look, you got a YouTube and, and I see you've been like styling. You got like, uh, what they call the mannequins or rigs. What, what's that you got over there? I got a mannequin. Um, I had a little plug at the home Macy's who hooked me up. She's very cool. Okay. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I want I want one. Uh, the the guy uh Theo Prince of Purple label he he put me on to those and um I've been wanting it ever since but I don't have a space. What what kind of space you um you know you dedicate to your collection? Well, right now I um I got a room. My wife she kicked me out of my closet so hey I'm, I got too many I got too many clothes right now so we dedicating a room to my closet. So as of right now, I um went to Walmart, grabbed some racks, just browsing. Racks was like maybe forty four bucks or something like that. And uh, hey, we just grabbed three of them, and I just went from there. You know, just trying to organize and see all what I have. That way, I won't go buy nothing again. You know what all I mean? Right. Can we can we see can we see the racks? Oh yeah. This one rack, um, this first rack, I dedicated to like hoodies, um, little windbreakers, you know, things of that nature, lightweight coats. My second rack right here is dedicated to vests, um, knits, and um, more vests. Um, I have a box that I keep uh, my colognes in. That way, when I get dressed. You know, you want to come in and know what you want to put on. You just know what, what sense to put on with whatever you got on. And um, <clears throat> this third rack right here is dedicated to uh, jackets. And I got more jackets, but this is just the ones I want to put on display. You know, light, somewhat light, but not too heavy. The heavy, the heavy hoodies are in the closet. And right now, my mannequin, this is what I put up. Um, the Parker with the um, cat neck sweater with the blue oxford you know just trying to get my winter get her you know together all the way damn you killing it i see that nasa over there oh yeah that's oh yeah and I'm, I'm, this right here is a funny story because everybody was jumping on you know when drake brought this out but they don't know when it really hit so uh -huh. you know by us being low heads and collecting you know they don't understand the magnitude of the NASA. You know what I mean? So when it dropped, again, I had to have it. That's going crazy. Now, did you get did you get a good deal on that or? Oh yeah, I went directly to the site on that. Uh -huh. When this came out, I went directly to the polo site, and I was waiting. I had it in my bag. As soon as it dropped, I went on ahead and copied it. It you... wasn't no if ands and buts about that. I had to have this. So straight, so straight retail. None of that aftermarket oh, no. markup. We ain't doing, we ain't, we ain't doing no. Um, we the price. Nah, we ain't, we going retail. I'm not so, overpricing nothing. So you escape. If it ain't, if it ain't Snow Beach, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. Nah, it's not gonna happen. You escape. The, you escape the rape. Oh yeah, without a doubt. How when much? How, how much? Ahead. How much were people trying to get those off for? Right now, from what I'm seeing online, twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred right now. Damn, man, insane! I like that, yeah, Joe. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this is for you because I know you was out here talking about copying it. But go ahead and get it. I'm telling you right now, the details on this, on this is like ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. It's it's oh, yeah. it's bitter it's bittersweet. You know, listen, 
I always say like there's nothing wrong like whatever you like but when we when we put our collection together we have like little personal rules you know what I mean like I don't like this I don't like that and we kind of right. but sometimes it's like now nah, I'm jumping out that box right because I know you you don't deal with the polo bears you got a thing with the polo bears and yeah. I'm, I'm actually digging the polo bears digging the bear. because I'm gonna tell you something before the polo bear reinvented itself, mm -hmm. he dropped them again. You was looking at eight hundred dollars every sweater. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. The dudes that had those, they were not letting them go for cheap. And when they re they when they re released them, everybody had to jump on it. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You know what? Some somebody was asking me in the comments like, "What's my problem with the polo bear?" I'm. It's really is is really like a technical answer. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to bore y'all. But if you know about, like, say, graphic design and, you know, the arts, there are, like, certain balance, certain prin principles of balance. And I feel like the the bear is not really balanced. You know what I mean? It's not really balanced. It's just, like, it's just a character on the shirt. I think it would be doper if it was framed. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a, yep. it's just a character on the shirt, which is okay, but that's more like a novelty item to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where like when you talk about like some of those uh winter sweaters where it's got like a whole scene, a whole motif, it feels more balanced to me. Right, 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 right. It's, it brings you into it brings you into the season. Yeah. So Yeah. That's all. But hey bro, how long you been collecting? Well, um ever, to be honest, I've been collecting ever since I was able to work. You know, um mm -hmm. coming up, you know, how that goes and trials and tribulations through life you know mm -hmm. you're not able to get certain things you know your parents can't provide a certain lifestyle that you want to live so right. when i whenever i you know became old enough to start working i started collecting then i lost a lot of stuff um throughout the course of time but you know overall you know i just you know just been picking up pieces here and there and then you know um i got my wife now and you know she she was she was she understand what's going on with the Ariel? She understand it. She know what she know what time it is. She, oh yeah, without a doubt cuz now she's into it now. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, so when I when I go out, you know, usually I, you know, they were like, "Oh, so you going to buy you got to buy your wife." I'm like, "Yeah, you got it's, you got to be that way." Got to. Got to. Hey, look, how did you how did you lose? How did you lose items? Well, being the fact that I was married one time before and I just walked away from everything, so I was just like, you know what, I'd rather take a deal rather than go back and catch a case. So, you know what, that's what I did. Yeah, Ronald Isley, before I catch a case. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, look, I know you into the whole Americana thing, right? I don't know if you saw my other YouTube um, video, but... Bro, I was surprised you didn't, you didn't jump on this. Oh, I was looking at it, man. <laughs> I think I couldn't afford it or something. I don't know. I saw it, man. You know, I see I see everything online. You know what? I'm more and, and I'm more up on um No, hold up. Is that brand new or is that something that's been circulating? Nah, this I've been having that um about six, seven years now. Okay, so I did see it like circulating like, you know, on like the bay and stuff. I think I saw it, I liked it. I don't think I had the bread for it. And I was like, I'd right. probably rather grab a few lower uh, cost items. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Because, yeah. you know, one thing I, I noticed about you and I, and we share this a lot, we rather get more quality products for lesser price and mm -hmm. snatch rather than go out, out and grab the highest item just because it's new. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, I'm a vintage type of person, yeah. and I don't like having things that other people have. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, and that's a good yeah. point. And peep, peep this too. Like somebody, um, you know, somebody in the comments was like, "Yo, like stay off eBay. That's that's flea bay, whatever. Um, you know, you can avoid the nonsense if you just cop brand new." And I feel that to a certain extent, but your your style kind of dic dictates that because even if I had the bread to buy all like stuff that was dropping. They don't. They don't make the stuff you love every season. That's true. So you're still searching. So it depends on what sort of collector you are. You know what I mean? Right. And see, the thing about it is, 
when you're dealing and, and not trying to be funny to the millennials or anything like that, but coming from the area we came from, mm-hmm. certain items we when we copped it, it, it sends us back to that time. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. To that era, you know, you, I'm, and they don't understand it for us. And like, oh yeah, it's easy to go in there and cop brand new, but at this particular time, when this sweater came out, it was 88, yeah. 92. You know, those yeah. eras, they don't understand it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like what you going to do if you want a houndstooth vest and they they might have one this year, but you might be fascinated. You might want seven. So you got to hunt. Right. You know what I mean? You're not going to make seven houndstooth this year. So. Right, right, right. And to be honest, that um that jacket I just showed you, mm-hmm. I copped that off eBay. I'm telling you, I'm like, was it eBay guru telling you thousands of dollars? I don't even care. You know what I mean? Like, look, sweater, copy, let's go. Yeah. No reason to sit down and play <laughs> with it because if you don't get it, you gonna regret it. Right. Hold yeah. I gotta. Yeah. I gotta show you. Um, pardon. I gotta show you. Um, I just I just grabbed this parka that reminds me of um something you was flexing on your YouTube. Um, I think it's green, and the lining is like beacon print. And it's got leather on the uh, it's got leather on the shoulders. Wow! And I was looking at it, and 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 I had a I had a selfish moment, bro, because I I was looking and I was haggling trying to get the price I wanted, and I I showed it to my boy, and he was like um he was like oh he was like I got that in my on my watch list, and I can't fake my first reaction was like I gotta get it before he get it. But right. but I calmed down because that's the bro. So I had to check the temperature and see if he was really about to cop it. So I'm like, you got the same exact one, you know what I'm saying <laughs> in your list. And he was like, um, he wasn't sure. He was like, there's a few of them, whatever. So um, once 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 I checked the temperature on that, you know what I mean. He was like, yo man, I told him it was only ninety because he said people were selling it for two hundred. So he was like, yo, you gotta pull the trigger on that. And once he said that, done. It was all, it was done, all done. 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 But I was like, yeah. I was ready to step on the bro toes. Like, can't step on. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But then, and see, that's the thing. People, I mean, these days and times, you got everybody trying to look alike. Back in our area, you trying to, you know, it's a competition with your homeboy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, you like, oh, let me go ahead and cop this. Don't let them see it. Put it away. But then when y'all go out, you want to hit them over the head real quick. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And yo, you know what? That's the thing too. Like with with this low, or I guess with anything, it's really fun to have a home homeboy that's into it. Cause like when y'all step out, you just surprising each other, and it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. To be to be around it is such a joy when you know your homie gonna come out with something crazy, something you would have rocked, but you just wasn't thinking about it. You know? Right, right, right. And the crazy thing about that is, um, like you said. Like, it got to the point before I got married way back in the day. But uh, every chick I would come across, they were like, you know, because I'm from Georgia. So they were like, every every time I see you, nigga, you always wear a polo. I'm like, that's my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. what I do, you know. And then, you know, push color shove and, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I rock. You know what I'm saying? A classic look. You're not doing too much. And it's... And, about that I love about you, bro, is you always keep it a book. You know what I mean? And when you said it's when we were talking about the Dapper Dan situation, uh-huh. it's a difference in a trend and something that's gonna stay around. And that's most of I hate to say it like Fubu and all that was a trend. It was in and out. Yeah. You know, yeah. Post has been around forever. Yeah. And it's gonna stay around forever. Yeah. Yeah, let me. I I I always ask people this, like longtime collectors. In 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 popular culture, low had its ups and downs. What what made you stick with it when it was down? Well, the thing about it is, even when it was down, it was still polo, mm-hmm. regardless of whatever the situation may be. It's still polo. Regardless on anything, because like you said, it was it was times that everybody 
late the course, you know, but during our era, you had Hill figure, you had Polo. You know, you had Fubu's come out, you Sean John's, you had a, a whole bunch of different things that came around, but Polo was still the American classic. Mm-hmm. Period. Hands down. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Mm-hmm. I think I think what helps with it so, is I think what helps Polo stick around is like they do the detail, they do the flair, but a lot of what they do is like right on the cusp of like regular. You know what I'm right. saying? So it ain't too far out. Some like some of the stuff that's trendy is is too much of a reach. And and see that's the problem. It it'll never it'll play out. You know, when Sean John hit with the um the um the joints that him and Mace was wearing mm-hmm. in the videos and stuff, the the uh the blue jean joints. And then you had the Jabo jeans uh-huh. and Mo jeans and all you had all that stuff come and then you had the flare out. You had the flare. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that was it. You know, once it was lit, yeah, but then after so long six months later, you know, you can go find that crap at City Trends or something like that. Come on, bro. Yeah. Like seriously. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Nah. All right, so we were going to keep the conversation going, but due to some technical difficulties, we had to dip out. Well, peace to the brother Maurice Walker. Check out his YouTube. And, um, yeah, Dave Money, American Lairs, you know what we're talking about. RL, don't miss the conversation. Subscribe and hit the notification. Appreciate you.